Ouh. Shepard, you're dead. I got better. <laughs> now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make Money. me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You <laughs> stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Oh! oh. Super dead. That was quite the entrance. He kills people in a very sensual way. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must. Oh no! He has a sexy voice. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me, the measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. <laughs> you used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? Yes. A suicide mission will do nicely. Oh, don't tell me he's got a death wish. I'm dying. Yep. <laughs> Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? <laughs> Luca. If you're that. interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Nice. It just it really looks like he's got three legs in that picture. <laughs> Every time. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. 
That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Oh, but he's not getting paid! Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Ooh, the talking golf ball likes Thane. He and Miranda can hang out at the chest exposure exposure club. <laughs> we need all window? the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Okay then, Jacob. No. Space boyfriend. Is Jacob our space boyfriend now? Well, they're all our space boyfriends. And space girlfriends. And space golf balls. Yes. And Morden! And Morden. Ah, Morden. Morden's my space everything. Morden, do you want to talk now? Can we talk? Yeah, yeah. Shepard, how can I help? Please. Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Yes, humans have only one heart, and it belongs to you. We're very let down about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh boy! Hmm. From Robin Reeve. The Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. Another shore leave. Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. What's up, Joker and Golf Ball? Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? She moved on. I can't blame yeah. her. She was frontline with you blowing up half the Citadel, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? But did somebody switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not <laughs> falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. <laughs> Edie has a valid concern, Joker. Knock it off. What? Come on! No padding, understood? What's the point of being a corporate ship if you can't inflate your results? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's it for now. See you, Commander. Got anything new for me, Golf Ball? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. <laughs> Logging you out, Shepard. 
I like these guys. Yeah, they're cute. You can feed the fish in the fish tank. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, look at that. There look they go. Look glorious fish. There they go to eat the fish food. Oh. That is precious. I would buy we the love game your space just fish. for this. Yeah, space fish. How's our space hamster doing? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <That's a squeak. laughs> yes. That's so cute. Lucas Shepherd loves pets. That's so precious. Lucas Shepherd loves every non human species, apparently. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Oh, oh really? Oh. Say no more. You're not Jack. <laughs> oh, we gotta go down to the red zone. Ah, yes, the red zone. <laughs> the red part of the ship. <laughs> the new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. Engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Get married! They're cute. Hey, Jack, you're looking cool. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. I can't take you seriously with those shades. <laughs> you know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. Um, why are we in an empty room now? Why are we like, why is the camera in like this dusty corner? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Jesus Christ, Jack. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. 
Attacking our allies is gonna derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? Okay, sounds good to yeah, me. Yeah, let's do it, come on. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. Blowing up some garbage for our space girlfriend. Maybe if I do enough things for you, uh, the game will glitch out and we can be lesbians. Yeah, I feel ya on that one. Got all my fingers crossed. 